Mustafa. Congratulations. Basically, what's your analysis of uh, your victory? Oh. I played a little bit better than him, you know. It's, um, as I said yesterday, you asked me what I have to do, and what I have to do is play well. Last week I didn't play very well in, in Madrid, and today I did better. And then when you play better, we can start to analyze the things, no? because if you don't play well, then it's much more difficult to analyze things. So that's, that's the main thing. So today, when I was hitting the forehand, he was not able to, to hit his forehand. You know, last week when I was hitting the forehand, uh, he, he still had the chance to go for the shots with his forehand. So something that could not happen today if I want to have success. And um, when I achieve that goal, then I, I start to open the court with the backhand against his forehand too. And I, I was able to change down the line with the forehand. My return was a little bit more inside than, than last week. And in general terms, it's, a, it's an important victory for me because I, I played a solid match uh, against a, a good player and a player who is winning a lot of matches in this surf race. So winning straight sets against him is a very positive result. But more, more than this is a, is a feeling that I am playing better uh, every week, every day. So that's important for me. Congrats, Rafa. Do you all feel this is your first final since the Australian Open, first on clay? Do you all feel relieved by that at all, or kind of I'm just curious how you're feeling now that you're past the semifinal stage again? Happy to be in the final, of course. And um, yeah, it was not a drama to lose in semifinals. You know, that's that's part of the game, as I said every day. So. And to be in the final is nothing unbelievable good. It's just a, a process that I have to go through. And the main thing is I, I am playing better. So if I play better, I, I know I'm going to have chances to, to be in finals and to, to win semifinals matches. No, because if you are not playing well, win against the best players of the world is much more difficult. So that's it. Uh, the main thing is recover my level. and. Uh, that's more than being the final for me. That's my my feeling and the, the thing that I'm happy with. That I'm playing better. I have margin to keep improving, my opinion. But I am doing the right steps to be there. Rafa, can you just talk about each of the possible two opponents for tomorrow? Uh, Djokovic and Schwartzman, who you had a tough match against in Paris last year. Yeah, both. Of course, Novak is the favorite this afternoon. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Diego is playing well too. For me, tomorrow is an opportunity to play against um, a good player, great player. So it's, a, it's another test. And I hope we're ready to compete well uh, on a bit of one. Um, but let's see. Let's see if I am able to 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 play at at the level that I need to play, better than today even, and that's an opportunity tomorrow to make that happen. Congratulations, Rafa. Um, you guys are, are clearly like on top of your game, like you, Novak, Roger, are still playing very good. How big do you think is the gap between you guys and the next gen? <laughs> no, no, I am. <laughs> You can ask Nicola, but he, he, he knows. He knows everything about the next gen. You know? uh, I don't know. I, I cannot answer questions about the next gen every, every week and every day. You know? the, 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 the next gen is a, is a marketing product that the ATP created and is great. But what happens is they are young players, they are good, but at the end of the day, they are tennis players, you know? And uh, we don't have to compare uh, the players who are over 30 with the players that are under 21. There is no reason to compare this with the others. We can compare players, but not Nejian versus the other players. No, they are great players. Tsitsipas is in the top eight in the world already, so 
that's uh, a great achievement. And there is a couple of more that they are doing uh, uh, a lot of good things, and they will have the chance to to become great champions and win the most important events in the in the next couple of years. But the difference between us and them, we will see when we finish our careers and when they finish our, their careers. In the process to find out your form, which match was the most important uh, on clay this year for you um, and why? Between which match uh, is Monte Carlo. Carlo. Every practice and every match, no. It's not a, it's not a match that is very important. It's about every day. Uh, looking for the um, the the things that I need with hope and with passion and with the right attitude, you know, and that's that's a diary work more than a match in particular because uh, what helps is win matches, of course, but what helps is have the feeling that you play better. And I said in Madrid I was playing better. Then I played a bad match in that semifinals. True. But my feeling, especially after that, um, after my defeat, after my lose against team in semifinals of Barcelona, I think my my personal feeling improved, and my energy came back a little bit. And uh, after that, I had the feeling that I I was able to be back uh, to play at the level that I need to play. Before that. The energy, I think, was not that high in Monte Carlo and in Barcelona before. You know, I have been through some tough moments after in Wells uh, and the recovery of the knee again. So it was not easy to, to come back uh, and to prepare myself the right way. And mentally, it's tough to accept too and to accept that you cannot practice the way that you need to practice. So that's part of, of the process. So. Then I had the chance to, to practice better, to do better things, and then the energy and the motivation and the passion back. And in consequence, the level two. Last question, anyone? No? Thank you. Stefanos is coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow.